Hello and welcome to the map review of P PL Vigil RC5 for uh, RGL Season 3. Uh, we're just going to go over the map, uh, see what pyros, uh, what kind of fun pyro can have on this map, what kind of not so much fun pyro can have on this map. And uh, we'll go be going through all the points one at a time, offense and defense. So starting with this first point, um, usually teams tend to like do a little sack wave at the very beginning. So um, Pyrogi, you have a lot of options to do uh, to do some fun stuff at the very beginning because you don't really have too many responsibilities. Uh, you as being part of the sack wave isn't always going to be the viable thing. So um, one thing that I like to do is to push out right immediately with the with the buff and with the flank because. It's pretty often that um, a soldier or scout are just kind of hanging out around here. And you can just kind of like walk in here. You don't have to like commit to it too, super hard. Like you don't want to necessarily jump down here. Um, but uh, you can kind of push out the flank super easily and just give your flank a little bit more like health advantage. Um, you don't have to like stay here. You can leave and go back to wherever, wherever else you want to go. But um, kind of just walking at the soldier with a full buff and uh, with your scout and soldier behind you can be pretty helpful, but this is like a strat you might want to talk with your team. Maybe your flank doesn't want to come over here. Maybe your soldier wants to go for a faster bomb or something like that. Just kind of depends on what your team likes to do, but oftentimes I see flank members tend to go to the right, so I just like to go help them, uh, especially because most of the time Pyro isn't really over here. He's with the combo, um, typically heading, heading out by this fence area, um, maybe up here on the right side behind this log. Um, so the Pyro usually isn't there to stop you, and if the Heavy's there to stop you, then that's usually like a pick that your your combo can go for, or otherwise it'll make it easier for you to, to uh, just fight in the front lines away from that. Um, does anyone have any thoughts about just this very beginning area that you want to share questions or anything? Yeah, like I have something to say for... Mm -hmm. it's usually when you go out here, like left, no, you want to spy check like all over here. Oh yeah, there's lots of spots. There's lots of spots like on this house. Um, some spies will like stand on. I mean, this is really rare, but like you can stand right here. Um, I think you can. Can you get on these rocks up here? I'm not sure. I don't know if you could do that as a spy. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I don't think so. But if you're super so paranoid, I you can check right do here. That first, and then yeah, I you definitely want to. You definitely want to spy check wave. right away. Then I would just sack on the point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's definitely like part of that that's really important um, like there's all sorts of random little corners around here that the spy can hide out around you might even want to like double back because sometimes the spy can jump over your head if they're standing in certain areas the spy might see you coming if they're on this truck they could if you if you don't you know if you happen to get unlucky and miss, their, miss them with flames they can jump over you and go to a new spot uh, somewhere you've already checked so sometimes even just doubling back and rechecking is really good it's really good around here um, just kind of depends on the, play, the spice play tiles. Some of them just want to like sit back and watch where your team is and call the bombs and things like that. But it's always really helpful to do a quick check at the very beginning, especially because you know you're out there with full ammo and uh, there's a resupply if you need it. I'm um, coming up over this little hill. Um, let's see, where do where do combos usually like to hold? They like to hold. Usually yeah, around they here. usually like to hold right here. Or behind the fence. I've I've mostly only seen behind the fence. I've seen a couple of instances of combos holding here. Um, both of them seem alright. The one behind the fence is Play a little safer. Um, but as Pyro, like... Unless the, if the gun is here, then like you can't really do very much about this. Like You just kind of have to chill and let your team deal with that. And then maybe like be annoying over here. Um behind their team if you're if you're uh if you don't feel like you're useful with your combo but really you should be like spy checking for your combo as they start approaching the guns um so what i usually i say something yeah go for it yeah so you guys are allowed to say whatever just let me know. okay usually whenever i'm if we hold over here i if the combo is trying to push here i would just air blast them off this cliff Mhm. Mm yes that's uh that's definitely a thing that happens often if you're on is this like if you're on defense, right? Or is if you're on offense? So yeah, I would run stocks for those extra air blasts, you know. Is this is this from offense or defense perspective? If defense, sorry. Yeah. I didn't well, I wasn't holding the button, so I was talking with Oh, okay. <laughs>
Yeah, what I, I said is if we're holding right here and they try to push here, I would be like, no. Just push. Mm -hmm. You kind of want to bait around this corner here and uh, let them get a little bit closer to you so they can't just immediately run away. Especially if the pyro is up, you know, the pyro kind of mess you up doing that. But stuffing the uber can be pretty helpful around here. The thing about it is that it's such an open space that if uh, if you're if you're kind of stuck in here air blasting the uber for too long, um, if you're not out of there by the post uber, then you're gonna be a really easy target. And not only that, like sometimes just because like you're getting a couple air blasts off around here doesn't mean that they can't just like force their way in anyways. Um, you have demo man and soldiers that can kind of jump around and mess things up behind you. Uh, might have to like distract your tension away the spy can go for your engineer things like that so uh try not to like get ultra focused on stuffing ubers uh on the defense but it can definitely be really helpful especially if you can manage to get the right angle so that you can launch them off on either of these openings here uh, yeah it's... and if you oh yeah go ahead oh yeah if you're running degrees so i guess you could probably do like a power jack jump jump yeah, that's definitely, that, that can help. And like, even if your combo isn't holding here from the defense perspective, sometimes combos are holding more back here. You can sometimes, um, especially if they're heavy or something or demo haven't really approached this hill yet, you can sometimes just kind of rotate over here. Either, um, like typically you're gonna be coming here from behind the rock because you don't wanna peek the sniper sight line. You can kind of rotate over here. And um, even if you don't make it like all the way over here to this little door or uh, to get around this corner, um, if your if your combo's holding back here, sometimes they, the uh, offensive team will pop Uber um, if they're pushing the cliffside around this around this area because uh, they don't have to like necessarily pop if you're holding passive. So you can be hiding like right around here and get some air blasts off. Like this is I feel like is like the ultimate um, Uber killer if they're if you're holding passive, um, or even just back around by this rock. It depends on like how your team responds to the Uber. Um, and like you don't necessarily want to like commit your whole body because if you're not with your medic then you're a super easy pick because uh, you're probably not going to get ubered uh, unless you like your your medic is uh unless your combo is really in sync and they kind of know like you're planning on doing an air blast uh push off here if they if you get a call that their combo is pushing on the right on the cliff so defense you can have a decent amount of fun here um just by the cliff side but some combos will not be pushing that. Um, oftentimes, they'll just kind of bully their way through main with the sniper and the demo man. Um, especially over this cliff, um, what you'll see is the sniper and demo man kind of pelting you from a long range, uh, trying to get your sniper to either die or just kind of have to get pushed back. Um, so that kind of makes more space for their, for their combo um, to sort of just walk in. And especially like, I don't know, I don't exact, honestly, this map is one of the ones that I have the least amount of experience in. So things can be like super dynamic, especially at the lower levels, because um, I don't know how, how well developed the meta is, but um, there's like a, there's a lot that can go right and a lot that can go wrong, especially um, around here. If you don't back out in time, I think I'm rambling right now. Hold on. So Do you want to say something, Smokey? Yeah, I have something to say. So, like, yeah, in most Uber exchanges, as couple, you'll usually just get the scraps, like mm -hmm. the last ten percent. But you're heavy in demo, so as Pyro, don't be like, like jealous. Like, oh, why do I never get like Ubers most of the time? Mm -hmm. It's because you're not that like strong. You don't do that much DPF. Yeah, and and you just you don't have that much presence. And if you're just getting most of the Uber. The rest of your teammates are going to take more damage, and honestly, you're like they're they're usually just more important, um, even on the defense. So, like if you if you do plan ahead for this, you can get like a little uber flash for for air blasting, but you don't want to like stay in it for too long. So yeah, like tell your teammates. What are you gonna okay, say, gonna, Could I have like an uber so I can just? Yeah. Well, one thing I will say is that on this map. Like first, second, third, especially the skybox is extremely high, so mm -hmm. a demo can basically skybox jump from spawn on blue, and yep. they'll try to bomb in. And like at, at the start of the round, especially, just look up. Yeah, that's super important. And often you will see a demo. 
and sometimes even soldiers will, will join in on that too. So a, a lot of the times you'll see sack waves at the very beginning on offense. Uh, so if you're on the defense, you might want to, um, yeah, like like Theater Techie said, look up. Um, and if you know if it's a solid team, they'll coordinate with their spy. There's a few areas if you're holding passive back here, where um, spy can decloak around, like even inside this house, uh, things like that. Closed on first. That house oh, this this is thing is closed. Okay. Okay, that's that's a really important. Thank you. So yeah, like they they won't necessarily be able to decloak from right around here, but they can probably get around. Can they can get through the tunnel for sure? I think right. So they can decloak around here. Um, even like. You can, I think you can, can you jump up here as spy? Yeah, you can. Yeah, so they can like even decloak like way down here, um, super fat, super early. Uh, so if you're, if you're, if you don't have people watching your back around here during those bombs, uh, that's going to be, that's going to be potentially exploitable. But otherwise, like, you know, just reflect a couple stickies. Usually they'll be spamming stickies from above. Um, it's, it's kind of really hard to deal with that, honestly. Um. You can kind of push a couple away, but they're falling at you. Sticky bombs fire faster than air blasts can uh, can deal with. So uh, maybe like get a couple off the either the gun, depending on where you hold your gun, or your medic, wherever. If they if they get accurate stickies, um, if your team's holding back here, how do you think that would work out? The gun's right around uh, here, maybe. Uh, yeah, over here it's easier for the demo to bomb than yeah. if you're holding uh, behind the fence. I think so. so uh, with this, it's just more important to tell your heavy to make sure that if a dodo comes to flying through the sky, they're uh, shooting them out. And so, yeah, sorry. anyone who's watching the stream, uh, if you want to join, okay. So what I'm, I'm on the Discord, so go join is, the Discord. You know, I guess it has a the really high sky there box. Too. So if they might do a, the soldier and demo and make some quick quick fix, he might do a strat called corn cob bomb where they just both with the base jumper just jump and try to bomb you you know so you have to be careful like up you might you might want to look for that oh yeah for sure it, are you going to demonstrate something or see you switch to soldier oh no that's cheese. i guess we could do a demonstration if, if we want I'm just eh, on it's not that big okay yeah, it's not that that's not that's an idea that is an interesting idea so yeah be careful for that let's see all right, I'm not sure if there's much else to say. Oh yeah, sometimes on defense I like to like come up around this area on the right um, by the drop down. The drop down's closed, I believe, at the very beginning. Yeah. Um. So. Um. <laughs> sometimes teams will like, if you're on offense, if your team caps, sometimes you're standing around here, you kind of like fall down. I've actually had medics like. In plat and invite kind of drop down here on accident. So, uh, be aware that this does open. On the uh, once you cap the first point, either on offense or defense, you, if, especially on offense, you don't want to accidentally get stuck down here. Um, sometimes it can be good to go through cave and go through the drop down, but usually want it, you want to have intention behind it. So um, I feel like we should talk about second now because we've got yeah. the first point basically done with. Yeah, the one thing I wanted to mention about um, hanging out on the right side by the drop down is you can kind of peek over the rocks and just kind of push people away a little bit. Especially if your heavy is there to keep you alive, um, you don't unless, you don't really want to overcommit to it, especially because the sniper can watch through main and watch your rotation back. So it's just like a thing you can do every so often. But yeah, after the first so point's about... capped, uh, this door opens and the drop down opens. Is there anything else that changes? No, apart from yeah. respawn times. But, yeah. But, yeah. That's gonna be too much for me <laughs> to to <laughs> think about. But yeah. Um, so people can start going into this house area. So on offense, um, there's a couple of areas that Pyro can kind of go through. Um, I think... So, so yeah, your you scout and soldier will usually go through here? Mm-hmm. You know, to... This is the, the generally where the flank goes, is through the tunnel. Either to push the cart up through the tracks, or to get some pressure on on the left side. Um, this is because most combos are holding like either passive by the house or shack or a little aggressive more like on this uh, on the grass area so on the your of the combo hill. will be right here most of the time like back here or something on the offense you'll be right here yeah around here um you don't want to like over peek because oftentimes the sniper is like his head's kind of peeking out over here um can this, is there a sight line right here yeah there's maybe 
I wonder if there's a sight line on the left of the shack. Oh, it, there's a sight line if you go up the hill. Like, oh yeah, yeah, if you're like in front of the shack. But, like, the sight line to back here is non-existent from that rock. Okay. Yeah, so, you don't want, you don't want to like over-peak, especially just on Pyro, you don't really need to do very much peaking until your team is uh, starting to push up. So you can do some spy checking, especially now a uh, spy can get access to this area uh, and decloak around that corner. Uh, so when your combo is holding around where Smokey is right now, there's a lot of a lot of risk for, for the spy. So they can decloak right here, they can decloak uh, over here, they can even just literally decloak behind people. If you're like, if you're back right here, you can't really see this. So if your demo is a little forward and you're kind of back here spy checking, um, you might miss this decloak spot and your demo probably doesn't have ears, so <laughs> he's probably gonna die to that. Um, so try to be wary. Because he's too busy arcing his pills and stickies. Yeah. Sorry about the noise in the background, guys. Um, hold on a sec, there's some stuff. There's some noise in my background. Hey guys, sorry I'm not reading the chat too much. I'm just trying to focus on talking about the map. If you want to join in, uh, check out the Discord. Um, there's a... we're in a voice chat. Um, okay. Anyways, uh, there's other places you can go as a pyro. Um, if you're if you're not feeling like you need to be spike checking, or if the spy is dead, or maybe your flank needs some help, your combos are just kind of chilling, you're waiting for picks or something like that. Um, you can also sometimes go help out your flank in the cave. Um, I think this is generally a little bit more fun for the pyro to to hang out around because it's just you got a lot more close quarters areas. Um, Especially on the defense, even like just watching this area. But on offense, you can kind of pressure out their flank a little bit. It's a little, it's still kind of open, so you, so like, you're still gonna kind of get hit scanned by the scout or the engineer. Um, usually, the engineer is not here on on the defense side though, so usually it's just the scout um, that's gonna be annoying um, you. One thing that snipers on defense do like doing is peeking into tunnel from mm -hmm. the cliff side, so there might be a sniper over there. Just watch. Yeah, yeah. So like. If nothing else, like being just being in a keeping an eye out. Um, if if like your teammates aren't really over here at the moment, uh, maybe your flank dies. You're just kind of waiting for them to respawn. One thing you can probably do a little bit as pyro is just kind of check to see if there's a sniper here. I mean, if you die for it, then like at least you know the sniper's there. Because sometimes uh, just being the first one to see the sniper just means you're dead. Um, if it's just you're just unlucky. Um, once your team starts pushing up this hill, uh, this is where a lot of teams will push through. Uh, not necessarily though, but this is one of the main options. Um, they can either you can either walk up the sight line, especially if the sniper's dead, or you can come down through here, uh, come up through the house, and drop through the window uh, to avoid one sight line in exchange for potentially another one if your team gets called out that they're rotating in here. Um, you can. Also, really important to note, you can ju you can jump through here, so the spy can very easily get behind your combo if you're on offense. Um, there's a, uh, it's a pretty wide open area, so if you have a shotgun, you can contribute um, a decent amount. Maybe flare flare detonator spam, whatever whatever it is. Just protecting your demo um, and your your combo in general while you're walking up is just generally what you want to do for these kinds of pushes. Um, one thing you can do is kind of check this right um, this right house area. Uh, this is like a prime air blast because <laughs> uh, you can really launch people. You might even, I'm, I haven't I'm not sure if the angles are perfect for this, but you could probably launch people off this cliff if they're hiding out around here. A lot of spies will hide out around here during pushes, um, cloaked or otherwise, and they'll uh, they'll jump up off up here, uh, especially post Uber, and uh, potentially get a pick. So be an, keep an eye out, especially post Uber. Uh, for that post super fight, a lot of spies will just kind of jump in from either up here or around here, so even like in the bush. So should we talk about defense now? Um, sh sure. Let me think. Yeah, defense is probably more interesting to talk about. I like I like defense on this map of Spyro. Okay, so more. you would usually hold right here. Uh, your combo is holding around this area, or a little forward, depending on if the sniper's alive and, and how confident you're feeling. But yeah, there's usually like a gun around here. Uh, depends on what your team you want to talk with your, with your team. Yeah, I think your sentry would usually be like right here. Usually it's around here because it, it can cover the cart pretty well. One thing I will mention about this sentry spot is it's very easy to get spams over the hill. Uh, demo can oh, just yeah. 
spreads and stickies straight through there, and the demo doesn't even need to peek that far mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah, you can spam so, it from pretty far away over here, yeah. yeah. So, uh, that's one thing to watch out for. Sometimes you'll need an air blast yep. there. Another, I think one of the most helpful things that Pyro can do on this uh, this part is to just watch this right side. Um, a lot of times soldiers will do it too, so maybe if your team says, hey, if the soldier's down, if, you're, if our soldier's down, um, have our Pyro watch this right side because um, you don't even, you don't necessarily have to like fight or kill anyone, but just kind of being here, putting flames out for just that, just some damage, just to keep people out for a little bit. Um, especially if you have a buff, you can survive a lot more effectively. Um, air blasting people around if they try to get around the corner, especially some combos will uber through this tunnel. Um, this is like super easy stuff. Um, so if you're aware of where their combo is, this is uh, one really, uh, really helpful thing you can, you can do for your team is to kind of keep an eye out on this tunnel, uh, pay attention to the comms where, where the enemy combo is, and uh, be ready to do any kind of air blasting around here. I have one thing to say. If there's a spy over here, and he escapes all the way over here, PLEASE do not go after him. <laughs> yeah, please. definitely don't want to do that. I too many open pyros just forget their combo and think, Oh, it's a spy, instead of protecting kill, my medic kill. from the soldier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one of the weaknesses. Yeah. Don't do that. And then the spy shoots you three times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or hits you with an ambi because you're walking in a straight line. If they're using oh. ambi for some reason. But that would be... Dabs you. Yeah, going for an no. epic Frag movie. I'm gonna put in my What's frag up there, movie 360, I don't know, Matador. One thing uh, that is good to call is if anyone's caught in drop down. Mm-hmm. Um... You won't go deal with it, but if you call it, then one of your demo or soldier can go and just shoot a couple things down there because, um, like especially if medical heavy is caught and dropped down. Oh yeah, especially post Uber. Sometimes if will. you get lucky, you can kind of push combo members in here. Uh, depends on how how poorly they play the Uber, but yeah, players getting stuck down here is is uh, really bad for the offensive team if you're aware of it and if you're kind of playing with your soldier or your demo around here. Um, just kind of keeping keeping them locked out by putting some flames out around here or using air blast uh, to keep them a suck in taking damage from your your splash classes is really helpful. Thank you for pointing that out. The only other thing about uh, playing down here is that there is a sightline from the window of the um, some people call it hotel. Some ah yes, this is important. Yeah, stuff. you don't so, want to over peak this, especially if you don't know where the sniper is. Um. So like usually you don't want to like go further um, past this line unless you know you're safe. Um, just just be having an eye and being like kind of know the air blast range, right? So it's like around here where you can just get like an air blast off and buy enough time for your teammates to come help you out if people start uh, aggressing through here. I think uh, and there's a few sneaky spidey click places like just inside the right shutter. Right around here, yeah. Oh yeah, um, this is pretty dangerous for spy too. Inside the bush. Little bush area, but, yeah. I think, can you get up on top of this uh, board, I think, maybe? Um, I don't know. It looks know. like you're so, super close to being able to get up here, I'm not sure. Ooh, that's really close. Oh man, this would be a great, uh, great little spy spot. If it's, uh, I don't know if how consistent spies can get up there, but um, if you're super paranoid, you can check yeah, on top of this board. Yeah, I think you can get. Um, there's a cliff over here, so air blasting can be pretty useful. Um, it's just you're not always gonna want to do it because you're kind of stuck out in the open, and it's a pretty big commitment to come down here because it takes a little bit of time to like go all the way back to these stairs. Uh, so usually you don't want to commit to that unless. Um, Unless you're sure you're going to be able to get out alive. Uh, sometimes, like, I, I would drop down around here. Um, like, hard commit to it. Especially if I know that there's nobody, like, really super dangerous in the tunnel. And air blasting people, even if I don't air blast them off, the sentry gun usually will, will handle them. Because, uh, oftentimes, like, people don't want to peek out this far. But, like, if you're up here, especially, um, if, you're, if your combo's holding aggressive on the, on the defense, you can, air, you can air blast people from up here. Out into the open, into the sentry gun. So that's that's really helpful. 
Anyways, I think we should start moving on to third, unless anyone else um, has anything One to last say? thing I'll mention Go is that uh, soldiers love on top of the shot shack on offense. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, just cover ready for that. There. Yeah. It's super annoying because they can peek really quick and then just immediately hide. So um, if you can't air blast them off, just try to like at least get the protect your team from some damage. But yeah, that's a, way, that's a, a that question, like to do that. What's up? Will you be posting this? Uh, probably unless there's like some technical issues. Like not working for most of the stream. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'll probably be posting this one. Uh, we should get moving to third, I think. Third, third. There's a lot of, there's a lot to say about this part, isn't there? Jeez. Okay. A lot of the times combos are gonna be on a, on offense, so we're gonna start with the offense perspective again. Um, they'll just kind of be working their way through the left hand side, through uh, the lockers area even. Um, sometimes if you're, oh no, there's that noise again. I'm gonna go close my window. Hold on, really quick. Thank you guys for watching the stream. Um, come join the Discord if you like. Okay. Um, if you're if you have like a decent amount of advantage, or like if you're if you're uh, if the enemy combo uh, is dropped, or if they're just down a lot of players on the on the put on the push, sometimes combos can get super aggressive really early. Um, just forcing their way through the main area. Um, I'm not sure. I feel like I haven't seen it work like too often to. Like just in order, in order to actually complete capturing the point, because there's like a decent amount of time that the cart has to travel to get over here. Um, but most of the time, you'll see combos kind of working their way through this uh, left-hand side on offense. So if you're playing combo pyro, um, hanging out around here is pretty useful, especially because it's kind of a closed-off area. So you can do a lot to, if not kill somebody, uh, keep them kind of stuck in a corner. Or um, otherwise, just taking like a good enough amount of damage for your your other combo classes to finish them off. Excuse me. Uh, flank. Where does flank usually like to go? They like to either push the cart. Um, I could show. They come around they like through to under go through here. Yeah. Yeah, they like to go through. all the way down here. Pyro can sometimes co go through here. Um, it's just not too helpful if there's a gun up. Like there's not much you can do other than like. Like the soldier can go direct hit and just. But yeah, this is like a common flank area. So sometimes, like if the gun is down, I think I think Pyro can maybe wander all the way through here. It's a it's a pretty long transition time though, so it it sort of depends on the situation. I think pretty rarely you're gonna want to go through here, but maybe try it out a couple times, um, see what's good about it, see what's not so good about it with your team. Um, usually though, you're gonna be wanting to stick with your. Uh, one thing you can do to help out your flank um, is if their flank is kind of holding out around here. Um, you can kind of deal some damage around under, um, or just pushing people out to make some space for your flank, but not necessarily committing to it. Then you can walk back up through this ramp to your combo uh, pretty quickly. Lots of spy areas, lots of random little nooks and crannies to hide around. Um, like, it's, like even around, like especially kind of around this corner, sometimes combos will peek like around here without necessarily checking this, or even like a sniper or your sniper might peek through either of these areas. So. Uh, checking this corner can be really helpful. You don't really have to peek any or overcommit any sight lines to do it, so uh, it's it's a pretty safe thing to do. Um, I think the I think the current meta is to push your combo through up through lockers. Is that right, Smokey? Yeah, up through here, pushing here. Mm-hmm. Trying to harass, harass this entry from here. Yeah. Um, usually they want to get their their sniper up through here. There's lots of random areas the spy can be, so. Uh, especially once you start putting through here, pushing through here, you want to keep your combo pretty safe from spies. Spies can get up here too. Uh, soldiers can often bomb through here as well. Uh, sort of uh, an offensive, defensive bomb, uh, just to sort of make some space either for his combo or for the spy or for whoever, even the sniper sometimes. Uh, creating a distraction for the sniper can be pretty viable because if the sniper starts coming up around here, they can see your combo reasonably well. Um, oh yeah, this is a really good spot um, that Theater Tech is showing us because. Oh no, this is cheese. This is cheese. Yeah, this is a really good spot uh, to check, like around here, because a lot of the times your team will start maybe pushing up around here. Your sniper might be getting super aggressive around here. 
Um, so checking back around here is really useful because the spy can very easily decloak around here without anyone seeing or even necessarily hearing. So um, lots of lots of areas for the spy to play in. So if you're on offense, kind of like do your best job. You might not be able to remember check to check every single area, um, but do your best. Like spray your flames around. It's not too bad. You can probably practice a little procedure to check everything. Um, if you do peek around this corner uh, to check for spy around here, beware of the sight line. Um, the sniper can see you pretty easily back here. So uh, unless your team is about ready to over or ready to commit to peeking through here, you don't necessarily want to check back here um, too early. Uh, well, another thing you can do is help push the cart. Uh, Pyro's always pretty useful for pushing the cart, especially in these kind of closer areas because your air blast is going to be more effective at, at uh, pushing people around. Um, it's not the most safe thing in the world because oftentimes uh, defensive heavies will be chilling out around here and just and molting you. And the sentry right here. And the sentry, Purple. yeah. So if if your team has like dealt with the sentry and the heavy is either distracted or, or just not around here, um, you can be really useful in the cart, reflecting spam and uh, keeping whoever else is pushing it alive. Especially if you can get it up past this little rollback area, that's super important, super helpful. Um, I think it's a it's pretty small now compared to what it was before, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like not too bad of a push down area, but it's still like enough to where it's really really important to get it past here as soon as you can. Um. So I think we got offense down. Yeah. For just one more thing about offense, like uh, around this sort of center area, I think it it gets a lot of like. It's not paid too much attention to, but I think it's pretty important um, just to remember that it's here and that sometimes um, players will, like, defensive players will come around here, especially the flank, and pester your combo. So um, being aware of that, being ready to catch them out if they overextend from right around here is, is pretty useful for Pyro, um, especially if you're on, like, a flare gun or something that can deal damage at a uh, medium range like shotgun. shotgun. Um, it's super, super useful to sort of keep an eye out around this area as well. Checking around this corner, things like that. Uh, defense side, I think um, usually just chill, chill so your, your combo. combo would yeah, be holding, like, right here. Right around here is where you're gonna be. Some sometimes you might. I I've seen some teams like request like a pyro to come up around here to protect their sniper. Uh, some teams like to have some protection on the sniper back here to prevent the enemy combo from walking through lockers for free. Um, I feel like pyro isn't the best class to do that around here. Uh, just because it's pretty open. Um, so yeah, usually, I feel like there would be like a scout or soldier would probably want Yeah, scout that, or maybe. soldier is usually better at it, but like if no one else is there to do it, you can maybe come back here for a little bit. Um, you know, just be aware, like, spy can be around here. Um, can he be on top of the sign? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is like a silly thing, but... Um, uh, some combos may want to come through the under area, yes. which is completely stupid. Don't do it as offense, <laughs> yeah. but if they do, then uh, you can just completely deny them, um, because they need to combo jump three times coming yeah. through here. Yeah, you don't even need to uber to deny yeah, it, you can some, just do a really quick peek air blast and leave. Yeah some, yeah, some combos will do that. It can be good like as a surprise thing, um, but like your team has to be, your defense has to be like either really, either just bad or like bad, something bad, like, something happened horrible. to where you didn't have eyes under at all and... You just kind of got unlucky, and you're like a no down enough players to where it's really bad. Um, some teams, uh, if they if they Uber like through here, you might be able to air blast it off the cliff. I wouldn't count on it though, um, especially because usually you're gonna be like around here. Um, so if you're holding like checking, right like, around here, here, you would like usually that. wanna like air, you know spy check here. Mm-hmm. Lots of lots of little areas. Uh, not it's not as bad as second or first I would say um, so you don't have to do that much around here so you can play you can pay a lot more attention forward on this area compared to uh, the other parts of the the other points uh, but it's gonna be pretty just general reflect spam try to keep your combos alive um, drop on the card if it's safe like there's no heavy back right here kind of baiting his team um, so sometimes you can drop on the car air blast pe like one thing you can do um, that can be really helpful if it's safe on defense is if the cart's on this rollback zone, um, especially as it gets closer to the top of it, 
you can air blast people off the cart like right before it reaches the end or just in general when it's on this rollback area and uh, like most of the time if you if you can get if you can get that done uh, the cart's gonna roll back all the way so it, it just um, buys you some more time uh, I think one thing that's I will probably say the most useful thing about this point mm -hmm. is a lot of the times I see his caps because red are too passive so oh, yeah. they're not worried about the cart until the cart is like here when it's extremely easy to cap. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, it's. I think I, I think the meta is probably going to shift towards being a little bit more aggressive because of that reason. Because. So yeah. Because I, I've seen the, that in plat too. Like, the cart gets pa all yeah, the way past this thing and. The cloak right here. And it's just super close. Yeah. Uh, so one thing that does help that is I have seen people put guns on top of this crate rather than. Uh, more passive, mm -hmm. and use the Wrangler to get it damage across there, damage up there, and also it can hit people on cart a lot easier. I've seen um, defensive combos also hold up uh, by the cliffside area, um, just to sort of meet the enemy combo most of the time. Um, so like you can fight them through uh, just the main locker sight line, or if they start um, pushing through a lower ground area, you can either maintain the high ground and spam over, or kind of meet them like at this little choke point. Um, that way, like especially if you can hold close enough to where your combo can spam over to the cart. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I meant to hit that. Um, it's uh, it's it's probably going to be a little bit more effective at a defense on a defense perspective. And like being around here as pyro can be maybe helpful because you can kind of peek this, but. I don't know, the sight lines. I, I don't know like where an aggressive pyro would want to hold, honestly. Uh, I don't think I've seen much other than just being with your combo. Oh. Wherever your sniper is, generally it's fairly safe to be around them because mm -hmm. the other sniper will be focusing on them rather than you. So if your sniper is peaking a little bit more aggressive, you can be a bit more aggressive. But if they're yeah. a lot more passive, then try to tell them to be more aggressive. That'd be a good idea, for sure. I can. Is is it possible to get on top of this little wood thing? I think, so. as a soldier, for um, sure, right? Which little lip thing? This. Uh... Uh, there's a push trigger on top. Of okay, yeah, because it looked familiar. It looked like the one on Cascade. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Yeah, so you can't stand on top of that. Oh, you can, but it's extremely difficult to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, if you're playing against a godlike player, then yeah. Um. I think um, that about covers it, right? Or is something else you want to mention? Uh, yeah, I feel like that covers it. Bots, um, if you go back to the rollback ramp and look up. Ooh! Ooh, I like that. That's pretty cute. So, Ooh. you can jump across from the rock um, to here. Mm. So, this is one potential spy t space. I, I don't yeah. expect spies to use it too much, but... I could see it being used in plat for sure, though. It's like... Just just depending on the situation, like, where your combo's holding, but... Yeah, that's a that's an interesting plot, an interesting spot. I didn't know about that one. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so you jump across from the rock close so I think we should go on to last. Like, yeah, we're got, last. we got about 15 minutes before I gotta go for scrims. Okay, so I guess we can talk about offense. Yep. Um, oh, uh, hey Johnny, where's the uh, connect info? For the oh, it's in the stream it's in chat. Stream chat. There's stream chat. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, thank you. Mhm. Mm so if you cap like uh, third, no. Yeah, it's third, third right? Yep. Third what opens for... up first? I mean, I want to make sure I understand yep. that. So I so think this window over here that, is closed. That window opens up. Yeah, so it and... opens up after. Uh, the this, gateway? Uh, oh, actually, one thing I did forget to mention is mm -hmm. once second cap, uh, the reds forward spawn, the front door closes and locks as mm -hmm. long as there's no one underneath it. And then the back door is a one-way door, so you can get out through red spawn uh, from seconds if you're on red, if you're quick enough. So, I so think like, if you're like... Here, yeah, yeah, yeah comes from red forward spawn so you can actually take the back exit out mm -hmm. yeah so if you're if you're about to lose second you can leave through here to get to the third point pretty quickly 
but yeah, okay, that's good that you mentioned that. That's a good. That's a really important actually. Um, so pushing third, I mean, you have some cart time, uh, cart travel time, um, getting through, especially the center area. Some combos will try to challenge the cart around here. Um, so I'm not sure how effective that's gonna be um, because it's. I feel like the enemy combo and the enemy sniper can stuff that out pretty easily. Uh, I feel like you just have a lot more space as the attacking team around here, so you have a lot more areas to, to move around and fight with. So usually um, teams are just going to hold by the last uh, point itself or up here in the IT area. So if you're attacking, you usually don't have to worry too much um, around here, other than maybe someone trying to sneak through drop down. Um, most of the time though, your combo is going to be pushing up on this left side area. Um, either jumping through the window or walking through the gate once that opens up um, and trying to take ground on this uh, cliffside area. Um, for Spy, there's a few uh, cheeky areas that they can decloak from. Um, like A lot of the time Spies will decloak right around here uh, if your combo is kind of taking space on here so they can just really quickly get a corner uh, corner stab around there so that's something uh, that's like one of the most common spots to be aware of. Uh, they can decloak around here or just out in the open underneath this area if you're not paying too much attention to this where this health pack is uh, that's a pretty easy spot for them to decloak through so um, on the right on defense, you jump on red room what uh, sorry one of your, which one of you let's go uh, on, de on defense you yeah, combos was holding red room right um usually combos um will hold here yeah uh, or like around this okay. area yeah yeah around here okay it depends. It, it depends on the combo. Some teams will like to hold a little more passive. Some people. I, okay. I think holding yeah, this. My, my I think holding this room is really place. useful, though. So. So if they're holding aggressive, they would hold right here. But if they're holding passive, mm -hmm. um, jump. If they're holding passive, they would usually hold by the sentry, which would mm -hmm. be here, or up here. So you, if yeah. you're holding passive, you would just want to be like. Yeah, but I, I want to finish up on offense first. Um, okay, let's finish. Let's see, so once you make it to this grassy area, um, you either usually want to take IT or Red Room, whatever you want, your, whatever your team ends up calling it. I call it Orange Room. That's what my team calls it. <laughs> Pink Room. Um, anyways, uh, there's there's like a lot of little areas like that you can contribute to, um, like on this cliff side. If, if, if their flank's kind of aggressive, you can sometimes pop over this house. Um, I don't think you have to peek the sight line. Uh, I think you peek it for like a moment, especially, but if you have like a detonator scorch that you can jump over it for sure. Wait, over where? Over where? Um, on top of this house. Yeah. But if you, if you really don't want to peek the sight line, you go through the lower area. Oh, okay. But yeah, this is like one way you can get there faster. Um, but if you're, if you want to like help out your flank around on the left side, um, you can go walk through the either through the cliffside um, to avoid the sight line or jump over the house to sort of get there a little faster. Just um, I, I've often surprised like a scout or a soldier that are just kind of over aggressing around here, yeah. and uh, you can kind of since they can't usually they don't like peek out too far. Um, but even in any case, like even if they if they do see you, if you just kind of power jack jumper over here, uh, you can catch people off guard, especially if your flank is there uh, to help you. I um, usually don't want to do that by yourself, though. But, um, oh, that's that's a cute spot you can get onto. I yeah, like I, just, I just noticed it. <laughs> that's really cute. Um, if your team decides to push through main, you can, you're can you going to want to spy check around here. Uh, sometimes the spy can go through like this lower area. Um, not too much to worry about, as far as I can tell. Uh, just generally check around the corners um keep a keep an eye out on the on like when your team is about to cross through any corners like try to either be like ahead of where the spy would be if they were to get be able to get stabbed there or um otherwise just like keep a uh, keep really close to your medic especially um most of the time uh, i think i wouldn't say it's like most of the time i think a lot of pushes are pretty relatively viable on last uh, so another push people will do is like pushing through uh, the red room or IT or orange room or pink room, whatever you call it. It's um... oh one thing I want to mention: a defensive heavy sometimes will will hang out by this window and they'll drop down on the cart when it gets really close. So just keep an eye on that, yeah. if you're, especially if you're cart pushing. Um, it can be really deadly. Just like a random heavy dropping down, or even not even necessarily dropping down, just literally standing here with a full buff. Um, it's a, probably the safer option to do. So. 
keep an eye out for that um, if you're attacking. Um, but yeah, you can you can do a decent amount of work here in this uh, IT area, especially once the heavy kind of gets pushed out of the fight. Either he dies or has to get heals. Um, you can really like torture a demo man in here um, because just reflex are really solid. They're probably gonna get hit by their own stickies. Uh, a bunch of stuff can go wrong for them here. So I think it's a it's a pretty decent spot for Pyre to be aggro in, um, as long as you don't like start walking out here. Um, you and can also, also like I, flank sorry. through the window if, if you have if your cart riders are getting kind of messed with like main and your combo's right above. Sometimes you can just drop through the window and kind of quickly rotate to help them out and then go back to your combo after. Where you I feel like all, also on last point you can use um panic attack. So oh yeah, because Johnny's easy. happy about that, I'm so we can actually happy. use it and not get absolutely destroyed. Yeah, if you're like pushing through main, it's not going to be that great. Um, but, but if like you're pushing through orange room, which I call it, yeah. you can use panic attack. Um, or on the and left do, hand like, side too. Two hundred damage to a heavy in like a second. Mm -hmm. That nader jump through the window. Yeah, that's another thing you can do <laughs> to get around. Um, like if if oh. no one's really pressuring main super hard and your combo's pushing through uh, through to red room, you can jump through this window. And uh, you like getting shot by sentries, sure. Yeah, it depends yeah, on where the sentry is. Dying from sentries. It's worth it. But it's so fun. But yeah, it like if you do that, you're probably gonna get mulched way. by the heavy. So uh, yeah. just be aware of that. Yeah. It's just like an option that you that that exists uh, in case it like the stars kind of line up for it. If you have the detonator out uh, or quick rather, then you can. That's like a thing you can do uh, to surprise teams. Like someone says, uh, sentry down. You're like, this is my chance. <laughs> and if the heavy's Frag in a heavy v heavy be. fight. And then a heavy kills you. <laughs> yeah, but like, like oh, but like, if you okay. do it at the same time as uh, as your combo's pushing, then he'll he'll either have to look at you and then die to their heavy, uh, to your heavy, or or uh, he won't be able to do it, and you can like do some decent amount of damage on the other uh, combo members. Um, he shoots your heavy, and then he gets frag movied by you. Yeah, epic gun? frag movie. I'm um, like Sketchek doing a Mark Gardner with the fucking hair. Mm, so cute. <laughs> Um, another place you can push through offense is um, on this left area. Uh, whether your combo's there or not, Pyro can be pretty nice. useful around here. Um, either, like, if your combo's pushing here, either reflecting spam that comes over the, uh, the fence area, or just dealing with random flank members that are kind of, like, wandering around here. Um, I feel like you don't want to do this by yourself, though, because Scout can very easily just run away and hide. And kind of stand at a certain distance to where, like, there's there's like an open, it's open enough to where the scout can kind of dominate you. So um, you don't want to like overcommit to this when the scout's alive. Um, but being a, being there to help out your soldier deal with the other soldier or something like that, or just deal, help your flank deal with the other soldier uh, can be pretty helpful. Uh, also, like another thing is if the guns like sometimes the guns like right around here. Um, actually, usually it's like on this thing. On these boxes or where River is, so. Oh, I, I had yeah. We are essentially right here, I guess. Good. Yeah, on the boxes or right here where River is at. Mm -hmm. So I think the Sentry can see through this area if it's on where uh, where River's standing, or if it's not even on the boxes, it can kind of see it for a moment. So just kind of be careful and wary of that. If you take it wide, I, I don't know if this is enough range for this. Can the Sentry? Sentry can probably reach from over here, right? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Yeah, maybe not. Um, but in either case, if you're not getting mulched by uh, by hit scan, um, especially like once the sentry's down and your heavy's kind of locked in a fight, um, pyro pyro can actually just literally jump over this fence and mess I with the. I recommend you just go on the cart and air blast everyone that's coming that's trying to block you. Off. Oh yeah, yeah. Honestly, like cart riding is the most important thing. It's just like that's just an option you can do if you if you uh, already have decent amount of cart pressure. Um, Pyro can mess, with, mess around this area, um, but I think the soldier or scout are going to be the ones usually uh, doing that. Sometimes you can help, but um, air blasting on the cart is always going to be really helpful, especially right around here when the cart gets to this rollback area. Um, a defense or offense, um, Pyro can really uh, mess things up for the enemy team, so uh, keeping an eye out for when the cart's really close, uh, especially. Um, you can get on it with a full buff, especially if you're if you're pushing and Keep spam off the cart, get it closer. 
Um, anything else about offense to talk about? I think we're anything? mostly done. Yeah, we have five minutes until 8.30, by the way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, defense. So we should do defense pretty Spy fast. Spy spot, like around here by the spawn. Um, they can decloak under here where the little soldier, soldier quacker is. And then we can check this box right here. Mm -hmm. They can jump around on top of these. Uh, they can very easily get onto this uh, this computer and on these boxes uh, and be above your team. So it's uh, it's sometimes they might decloak from like way over here. It's probably maybe to go for an engineer or sniper pick maybe. Um, but they've also got this little cubby here that they can decloak. Oh yeah. Wait, is this where are you? At? You're on the red team. Okay, yeah. So this is you. Yeah, around here is can be an okay spot. Especially if you're distracted with uh, with spam or something like that. So uh, keep an eye out because this is like relatively close and like relatively kind of benign looking. So because it has this angle coming in through here, so it looks like it's not the best idea. But because of that, it's kind of it seems like a pretty actually decent spot. Yeah, right I caught around the spire here, like good. right here like four times last night. So like you're yeah. going to go back by the staircase. Yeah, yeah. So there's lots of random little areas that uh, you're going to want to check out. Underneath um, where the sentry is, they like the decoy. Mm-hmm, right around here. Um, that's if your team's kind of holding passive, your team's holding more aggressive, like um, forward by the uh, red room, uh, where your teams usually hold aggressively. Um, you don't have to do too much work um, in terms of spy checking. Like, you can go back and spy check for your engineer. Uh, that would be pretty helpful, but um, if you're, like, trying to protect mostly your combo at the moment, um, there's just pretty much this corner. Um, they can, I think you can jump from this height, yeah, so like they can decloak like around main and jump up here and go up the stairs. So generally just, you know, obviously like a sweep through here and then checking like main, watching your, your combos back. Um, you can be pretty useful here in defending your combo against demo spam. Like you don't want to overcommit to it because the demo stickies fire pretty quickly, so um, I think most combos, I don't know, how, how do combo fights usually go here? Let's see. Well, generally the contested area is the white area here. Yeah. So red combos will peek around this side mm -hmm. and blue combos will peek around outside. Um, if you can get a, your NG to put a dispenser behind the wall, um, maybe a bit further back, that will give you ammo. Oh, that's super helpful. Um, yeah. So that's always yeah, good. Yeah, because there's just a, one if, little ammo pack right here. Yeah, if their combo is not paying attention, you can quickly just come out and airbust them off the cliff. Fog pirate shots, that's interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, that's like a... If, especially if they like, kind of flub their uber and don't like, get enough space, like, early enough. Um, cause, you know, if they're like, in here, it's gonna be harder to air blast them out, but if they're like... If, especially if they're like, running away and you're at the end of the uber, you might be able to get like, an air blast off through here. Um, wouldn't count on it, but it's definitely a possible thing that you can do. Um, what else? Sometimes, uh, you can be helpful on the flank a little bit. I don't think you really want to, like, start roaming all the way over here, because, like, unless you're on Scorch Shot or Detonator, I don't think it's possible to get to the boxes area and without just crossing all the way through this, uh, right side tunnel. So, you're probably just going to end up, um, mostly hanging out with your combo. Sometimes you can, you can, like, wander over here a little bit if your combo is, like, kind of chilling out um but usually usually not um watch out for the sight line through me i think can the sniper stand on this fence yeah still? i feel like that's kind of it um fence mm. is being patched out oh yeah that's been patched out okay yeah yeah so that seems like mostly it Combo pushes through main you might be able to get some air blasts off through here but honestly you probably don't want to overcommit your body because uh, players can come through uh, the tracks area, um, or potentially through red room if you don't have that under control. So, yeah, do some spy checking, chill out with your combo. Um, if you're having fun in the red room, you might be able to. Or like one thing you can potentially do is help um, help your team retake red room if the uh, demo man takes it. If their if their combo takes it, um, if the heavy's not like doing his job like perfectly well, um, you might be able to. Sneak in and, and deal some decent amount of damage and take some space for your team. Because you can air blast people around corners, make some space for your demo. Um, but, you know, heavies exist, so just always be aware of that. 
All right. Anything else to talk about? Uh, no, I feel like we covered everything. Cool. All right, thank I you guys. I guess we could talk about loadout, but you know, it's Not basically much whatever you You can want. run whatever yeah. you feel like uh, for the most part. Um, there's like a good amount of options for like secondaries uh, in terms of like the, the score shot detonator, um, shotgun, flare gun. Or Don't use the gas pass or thermal thruster, no, because <laughs> those are basically useless. Yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for coming out to the review. I uh, especially uh, appreciate um, actually the two of you that are remaining here in the in the Discord. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys are really helpful. And thanks to the viewers. I uh, appreciate you being here. Sorry I couldn't respond to the chat, uh, but I hope this was helpful. Take care.